Mobile Trader – How to Use the XM Android Tablet Part 2 To access and edit your symbol list, press the Edit button located on the top of the Quotes window. It will take you to the selected Symbols window screen. Here you can see the list of your currently chosen instruments. You can remove specific instruments from your main Symbols list by clicking the Delete button located on the top right hand side of the panel. You can select from this list which instruments you wish to remove by clicking the new boxes, which appears next to each instrument. After selecting a particular instrument, click Delete to confirm your decision. Alternatively, you can press the tick button to cancel your decision. By clicking Delete, you can see that the first two instruments selected have been removed from the symbols list. To change the order in which the instruments are displayed, Click and hold and slide drag the selected instrument to the desired location. Once you release your finger from the selection, the instrument will be moved to a different location. To add a new symbol to your symbols list, click the plus icon at the top right side of the main symbols window. This will present you with a new symbol selection window that contains the various symbol groups. Here you can see what each group contains. You also have the option to search for a specific instrument pair manually by clicking search field at the top. For our example, you can search for gold. After you find that particular symbol, just tap on it once and the symbol will be added to your main symbols list. Clicking the back button takes you back to the main platform window. On the chart window, you can choose the amount of details you want displayed. To get a clearer image of the candlesticks, for example, you can use the pinch out function on your Android to zoom in and see the candlesticks in more detail. To view most of the chart data, use the pinch in function. To see the most recent position of your charts, you can use the right to left scroll function. To access the indicators list, click once on the chart and a mini action window will pop up. Press on the indicators button to open the indicators window. To add a new indicator, you will need to click the plus button. Select the Average Directional Movement Index Indicator from the main indicators list. Choose your parameters and options for the specific indicator and press Done. Remember that this particular indicator has been automatically added under the Indicator Window 1 tab. On the chart, this is represented in its own separate window. Depending on the indicator, it will either be applied on the main chart or in its own window. In order to add an additional indicator to your list, press the plus symbol on the right side of the main chart tab. This action will display the indicator's list. Let's add Bollinger Bands by clicking it once. The indicator is instantly added under the main chart tab. Here you can see that the Bollinger Bands indicator has been added to the chart main window. The Settings options displays the various settings of the current MT4 platform. The first option is the Advanced mode, which we have previously explained. This option is ticked off by default. You can turn it on by clicking the box on its right-hand side. You can see at a glance that the Bid and Ask Price columns have been updated. Next comes the Line Type option. Here you can choose the chart representation mode out of three available options. Next is the OHLC option, which stands for Open, High, Low and Close Positions. This is turned on by default. To turn it off, simply untick this option. To view the changes and confirm, click Ready at the bottom of this panel. This takes you back to the chart window where you can see at the top left side of the window that the OHLC has been removed. Back to the settings options, you can enable show volumes from the list. Ticking this option and pressing ready allows you to display the volumes on the main chart. The next option inside the settings window is show trade levels, which will be explained later on after placing an order. The last is the Messages Information section and some additional options such as Vibration and Notification Ringtone. End of part 2. Thank you for watching.